Hello, this is Paul Bo Brookins, and welcome back to How to Play Dwarf Fortress. Uh, when we last left off, we were setting all the skills of our dwarfs, and I didn't mean to imply in the last video, um, when I rewatched it, it seemed like I was uh, telling you that that's exactly how you have to have them. But this is just my preferences. Um, you know, I like to have these types of skills for my dwarfs to start out with. But um, when you start playing the game a little bit more, you'll probably have your own preferences as to what you like to start the game with, and it won't be wrong, and, you know, I'm not necessarily wrong, but, um, you know, my selections aren't necessarily the right way to play either, so I'm just giving you, you know, a little um, idea of some of the things that you might want to have going on in your game when you first start out. So, okay, the dwarves are all finished, I believe. I don't think there's anything else I wanted to add to them uh, in terms of what they're doing. So we'll go ahead and switch over to the items area by hitting tab. Uh, and it shows all the items that they automatically start out with. Um, so the things that you're going to want to start with for sure, um, you'll want some picks. There's no way to get picks unless you have them. Um, you make picks out of metal, and you can't get metal without digging, so if you don't bring a pick, then you're going to be having some trouble. Um, some people play like without any items at all, or with it's just certain things, and they limit themselves to, like, oh, I'm going to go ahead and smelt something, you know, there's some situations where you can start out with like two blocks of of copper ore and then um, make a, but I don't like doing all that. I mean you can, but it's not my style. Um, it's good to start out with two picks since you have two miners. I only need one battle axe because I have one wood chopper and um, I'm not gonna have um, a lot of military to begin with and when I do I'm not gonna want copper battle axes. Uh, copper axe is just for cutting wood so we're gonna want to be making at least iron or better weapons when we first start out. So hopefully there's some iron on this map. Um, I usually get kinda discouraged uh, if there's not any iron on a map. But um, you're also gonna have to start out with an anvil. Uh, it's very important. You, if you don't start out with an anvil, then you will uh, literally not be able to make anything out of metal until you actually buy one from um, a supply caravan or something. So start out with an anvil. You can go ahead and start doing your metal work right away. You also want some liquor. Um, this looks pretty good for now. You want some um, plump helmet spawns. Plump helmet are kind of like the bread of dwarfs. They're a type of mushroom and you make the booze, uh, well, I guess you don't make booze out of bread. You know what? Yeah, um, they're kind of like uh, mm, rice? I don't know. But they're like the staple. They cook with it, they make booze out of it, they do everything with it. So um, I like to have a lot of these uh, when I first start out. 25 and it's only it only costs one embark point to add one of these um, and your planter is going to want stuff to do at the beginning so we'll go ahead and give them a bunch um, I also like uh, a couple more of these and you can produce more seeds after you use these up from I think there's a chance of producing an extra seed whenever you actually harvest or process the plant that you're um, um, that you are have already planted and grown, um, but it's nice to have a little bit extra to begin with. Um, and it starts off with some pond turtles, which is good. Um, turtles and um, lobsters and other things have shells, so when you're done cooking them or doing whatever you want with them, of course, there's not really much to do with them but cook them. 
the beginning. They're going to end up with a shell, um, and you can make crafts out of shells, or you can make uh, several other items. You can make a shield, I think, some things, but you do that in a crafting station. Um, so it's nice to have some turtles, some lobsters, some of those types of things. So you, after you cook them, you have something useful um, that you can make something out of. Um, of course, pump helmets already grown, so they, they don't starve right off the bat. Um, some thread, some cloth, some bags. These are all good things. Um, rope. I'm going to get a couple less quivers and ropes because they're expensive and we can make them out of the cloth if we need to. Um, also, buckets are good. Splints and crutches are good. Those are starting off... Um, good to start off with. You can make these almost immediately so if you want to get rid of them or make them less then uh, you can go ahead and do that and you can make them uh, as soon as you chop down some trees um, later on. So now we have some extra points to de uh, deal with and one thing I like to do is um, you'll want to hit N for a new item and you can just start typing if you want to look up the item. I want to look up milk. Um, and we're going to want one of every single type of milk. Which might seem weird. Let's see if I can find it just quickly without typing it. Extracts. Yeah, it's going to be faster for me to type. Um, the thing is, they don't combine the milk into... Uh, separate containers, and also they don't contain. They don't carry them around in a little, you know, cup. If you have one item of milk, then they put it in a barrel. So every single time you add a new different type of milk, um, they're going to put it in a barrel. And if you can see, do we even have any barrels? Um, We have to add some barrels also, but um, let's see what barrels cost. Barrels cost ten points. So instead of spending ten points uh, on a barrel, you can spend one point on a one item of milk, and um. and make cheese or something out of the milk and then later on you have an empty barrel for way less embark points so I know this isn't very exciting but but it shows you the type of things you do to save resources in Dwarf Fortress it's it's important to get your money's worth, especially I mean all these barrels that we would have that we're putting milk in, um, we would have had we have spent like a hundred embark points on these, but instead we're going to spend ten, and we're going to have a bunch of barrels to start off with. Barrels you're going to run out of barrels really fast too. Um, you can make them. There we go. We got all the different types of milk. You can make them, but they're just you're just constantly wanting to fill barrels full of things so um, I also like to take a male dog you can see there's a gender symbol beside whatever uh, animal it is uh, and you hit the plus symbol to add one a male dog and a female dog and a male cat and a female cat dogs um, you want them to breed and you can keep them separate and train them into war animals or hunting animals they can uh, accompany your warriors or you can have them um, hunt with your hunters uh, cats they will kill your vermin and uh, some other useful things but you want to make sure that you uh, don't let them breed out of control um, so you want to keep the cat population down to about five to ten at the most probably even less than that maybe maybe five is a good number to keep it at um, 
and we have 44 points left so uh, I think we have pretty much everything we need so I'll go ahead and um, add some more I'll go ahead and add some lobsters um, just cuz we can make some nice lobster shell crafts to sell to the um, the caravans coming in later on so um, there might be a couple of items that you like to take with you that I haven't but uh, this is pretty much the setup that I like to do when I play Dwarf Fortress. Um, I sometimes take another animal or two but um, for the most part it's gonna stay like this um, and okay that's all the items so um, I think that's it for now we just ran out of time but in the next video I'll show you how to name your fortress and name the group that's going to be embarking and we will set off and I'll show you the actual game so it only took uh, what four videos four and a half videos to be able to actually play the game so um, yeah well uh, until then uh, my name's Paul Bo Brookins, and a comment on the video if you have something to say, and like and subscribe if you would, and we'll see you next time.